Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to The Product Designer. It's Jimmy, and today I'm going to be doing something that you guys have been asking me. This is going to be a very valuable skill. It's actually one of my most strongest industrial design skill. It is Photoshopping products. This is creating renderings in Photoshop. So if you guys want to learn, definitely watch these couple of videos. It's going to be a series where the first one, I am going to just go over the things that I've done, the benefits of rendering in Photoshop compared to something like a key shot rendering. And then in part two, I'll be actually going through some of the techniques that I use. It's not very many techniques. I just pretty much do the same basic thing over and over. And in the third part, we're going to actually render something from scratch. And so I'll just lead you guys th through the whole kind of process, through the whole kind of journey. So definitely, if you want to learn something like this, I for sure recommend that you watch these videos thoroughly, maybe even multiple times. Okay, so to begin with, I would recommend that you know how to use Photoshop somewhat. I'm not going to teach you the very basic stuff, but if you guys just follow through, just watch carefully what I do. It's very simple stuff and it really, the magic comes from just you being able to understand what looks good or not looks good. I was pretty proficient at Photoshop but I didn't know how to use Photoshop to actually render products. I knew how to use Photoshop to make layouts, to create graphics, to create the signatures that you would have on forms, but I didn't actually know how to create these product renderings that I would always see all on the internet. And so I really wanted to learn my school. They didn't really teach us this. And so I kind of had to learn on my own. First starting off my industrial design journey, I was extremely into to transportation design and so just looking at the renderings all across like simcom if you guys follow that i really wanted to make my own and so these here were very much the first initial uh renderings that i did in photoshop these renderings took anywhere from like three hours to six hours just to make one i'm a lot faster with it now so before people used to only render in you know markers and chalk on some vellum paper or something and that was that's pretty old school nowadays the way to go for sure is to render in photoshop or any other similar sketching program like sketchup you could still apply these same techniques that i'm going to show in those programs you're just going to need to figure out how to do it on a you know tool type of level photo Photoshop, it's really great. The benefits are that you can create a very quick rendered image with your sketches. So you might have a boring white with pen sketch and you want to just kind of spice it up a little bit with shadows. What you'll do is scan it in and then you could render it really quickly. Um, or if you want it to turn out a little bit more detailed, then you can spend a little bit more time and actually come out with something that's very finished that looks really, really good. For nowadays, I'm rendering stuff and people look at it and they're like, wow, like, is that Keisha? Is that a rendering? What is that? And I just say, it's a Photoshop rendering. It literally is just kind of like, painting in Photoshop. These images here are really old. These are some of my older works. I can't really show you guys my newer ones just yet, just because, you know, they're all in the works and the process. And so they're kind of a little bit secretive. Uh, these ones here, I've been doing these when I was in school a couple years ago. If you guys are following me on Instagram or Behance, I have a lot of projects on there and they are mostly key shot renderings. So key shot renderings are a lot different than Photoshop renderings just because key shot, you'll need a 3D file. This is where you'll build it in like SolidWorks or some type of a 3D program. And then you would bring that 3D file over onto a rendering program like Keyshot, and then you could add materials and colors, lighting and whatnot in that. The differences between both of them is that Photoshop, you won't need a 3D file. You can just create it within Photoshop and you'll be done. The issue is that you're only stuck with that angle that you're rendering. And, and if you want another angle, you have to start over and repaint, recreate another angle. Whereas for uh, a key shot rendering, you can just kind of like, since it's a 3D file, you can just like change the angle, move it around and then hit render and then it'll just render for you. So there's pros and cons for each of them. 
Photoshop renderings look quite different than Keyshot renderings. Uh, Keyshot is usually meant to look as real as possible to the final finished thing. Whereas if you're going to be doing a Photoshop rendering, you can make it a lot more expressive, a lot more emotional, a lot more style and artistic. So again, I am not going to be showing, we're not going to be hitting Photoshop in this video, but I'll be doing that in the next videos. I just kind of want to set an introduction for you guys, the benefits fits and why use Photoshop renderings. How I start off with these renderings is I don't just immediately jump right into Photoshop and start rendering. What I do is I would typically start off with an underlay. An underlay is an image where you can base your rendering off of. And this is going to help a lot. This is going to help with proportion, with um, maybe even taking aspects of that underlay and incorporating that into your final design um, but generally I will not just start blank you know with a blank canvas I'll have something and that something could be an image that you took from the internet it could be an image that you took a photo of yourself it could be a sketch that you drew and you designed something and you scanned it in put it in Photoshop and then you're going to render on top of that Another thing I see people do is they really like sketching digitally, like with a Wacom tablet or whatever. Uh, that's usually not my type of style. I, I'm not very good at it. Um, it's just not the way I think. I've tried it many, many times before. And so really, I really just like either taking an image, like what you guys see with, here with this driver i start off i started off with this rendering this is actually a uh key shot rendering and then i photoshopped on top of that so i always start off with something i don't just jump right into it and start sketching shapes all right guys well that's about it for this video i hope you enjoyed watching some of my older renderings and maybe you learned a thing or two if you did really consider hitting that thumbs up button also leave a comment down below if there's any other thing you'd like me to talk about if you have any questions and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so that my videos come right to you guys also hit that little bell button so you don't miss any of the videos and biggest thing guys if you have somebody that you know that would benefit from these videos definitely share it with them and i'm sure they will appreciate it and grow this channel my name is jimmy and i will catch you in the next video peace